The first time I was on stage, it was like, oh, well, this is this is it. This is perfect. And I, and you were at uh, at college then? Was this yeah, open yeah. mic or something? No, I was a uh, I was 19 years old, and I was in the audience at the Bray Improv, and the comedian on stage started making midget jokes, and half the audience was laughing, and the audience that was sitting by me was like, uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> not laughing. And the comedian noticed, and he's like, what's what's up here? He goes, yeah. what is one of them here? And I just raised my hand like. Yeah, <laughs> and he called me up on stage and he started asking me questions because he was curious and I started answering and I answered honestly I wasn't trying to be funny I didn't have any shtick or anything like that I just answered the questions and my answers got laughs and that was you were hooked the heroin that was it yeah that and was it what is it about that with those, such heroin for you because I, I ask everyone that kind of question it yeah. seems like everyone has that moment a yeah. lot of people do for me it was the it was the realization that with stand up comedy that I control the message that with me, when I when I walk outside here and I go to a crowded area, I don't control the message. I have people staring. I have people looking. I have oh. I, I I have kids asking questions. I have parents giving those kids horrible answers to those questions that are not correct. Give me an example. Uh oh, there's the cheesy ones like oh he didn't eat his vegetables. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't drink his milk. Oh. Uh, my favorite one was he didn't pray enough. Oh. Uh, that that was good. This was God smiting me, just and, like. And do you and do you do you like respond? Oh yeah, uh, it, if I hear it. Uh, the classic example was um, this was this was uh, maybe like fifteen years ago. This was a while back. Um, but like a, I was at the mall around Christmas time. Of course you were. And the and the, 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 of course they had the mall Santa there. Mm -hmm, of course. And. Uh, the line was incredible, like it always is. This is at the Brea Mall, and uh, then this dad comes up to me. Oh, I remember with, this with his kid, yeah. and is like, "Hey, could you just like, hey, could you just tell the elf what you want, and then the elf will go tell Santa." Like he didn't want to wait in the line, this cheap fuck. So, and he says that without asking me anything, without being like, "Hey, is it cool if I or do you know you know." No, just comes up and says, you know, this is, this is one of Santa's boys. You could tell him and he'll go tell Santa and you're good. So I, I, I took that like, oh, really? Is there any way that guy could have thought you actually worked there? <laughs> you know Possibly. What I, mean? I mean, you weren't dressed like an no, elf. No, yeah, I, no. So, I wasn't okay. walking around with okay. like, yeah, you know. No bells in your shoes yeah, or anything. No, yeah. none of that. So I just kind of went, okay. Because I know that if I get mad in that moment, that's the impression of little people that that kid has. Uh. The only impression that he has probably yeah. is yeah. of a is of a dwarf getting mad. So I cannot do that. So I looked at I looked the kid and went, "Yep, Santa's elf, and uh, you've been very good this year. Like, what do you want?" And he goes, "I want a bike." And I see the dad just kind of like give me a uh -huh. like, uh, and, and 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 I go, "Guess what? You're getting a bike." <laughs> and the and the dad's like, "What?" And, and then, but he but now he can't say shit. Yeah. So I go, "And uh, do you want an Xbox?" <laughs> like, and the kid's like, "Yeah, I want an Xbox." I'm like, "You're getting an Xbox," <laughs> and. I told him, I, I told the kid, I go, the only way that you do, do not get these things is if your parents fail to file the proper paperwork. And the dad lost it on me. Like, he's like, no, no, what are you trying to do? Tell him all these things. I'm like, what? This is just, I'm Santa's elf. This is just the rules. I mean, this is just, like, this is protocol. I can't change it. You can't complain to me. So it works in the North Pole. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, that that was the time where I where I really had fun. So to go back to the original question, like, I I love stand up comedy because now it's not anyone making that shit up. It's just my message. I control the message to the audience. Whatever I want you to hear, that's what you will hear, and nothing else. So that's so that freedom and power and control really attracted me. Anything to about it. laughter particularly? No. Not really. You like, left it was just the immediate reward that yeah. just lets you know you're in the right zone. Yeah, and it's good. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm, if you're a comic, you you live off that. But uh, it, but the true thing that gets me going about stand up comedy is the fact that I'm like I'm on stage. I'm telling these people everything that I that I control them hearing. Uh -huh.